What is up? Good morning. How's it going? So, it's Sunday, and as you know, I don't edit the vlog Saturday night. So I just finished the vlog, that one. And, uh, yeah, I'm actually headed into my work at Harvest, because I'm going to be kind of busy this week. I've got a few things going on, and I just have some work that I want to get finished there early. So I'm going to do it today on Sunday. Not a big deal, and uh, should be good. Shouldn't take too long. Just building some circuit boards. Six more of the ones I built the other day. No, they weren't on video. Anyways, I gotta go. I'm making a coffee, and then I'm off. Let's go. That wasn't too bad, and I have an idea, well something I've wanted to do with the truck for a little while, I might experiment with later on. Just uh, I'll explain in a second. Okay, this isn't a full on installation thing, do I look really tired? I actually like passed out for 20 minutes. I rarely do that. Anyways. This isn't a full on project. This is just like a quick experiment for a future project when I have all the components. And really it's just going to be really quick. Okay, so. Hold up, fan's gotta come off. I spent some time working on a fun project, but it didn't work out, at least not in one day. Um, so what the project was, yeah, it was just, really it was like an experiment. I have this wireless remote for my truck that just unlocks it, and it's like a cheap one, and it transmits a radio frequency, so I was picking up the radio frequency on something called software defined radio which is one of these cheap radio things that can pick up RF and display it on the screen so what I did was I listened for this when I pressed the button I would watch it on the screen and then I recorded it and I put it into audio software and then that audio software called Audacity, you could see the bits of information, the ones and the zeros being sent. There's a really cool video on it by Sammy Kamkar. Hang on. Yeah, there's a cool video on it by Sammy Kamkar who hacks like um, someone's doorbell. It's kind of the same concept. So I was able to decode it and then I wrote an Arduino program to transmitted on a little transmitter that transmits the same frequency but what happened was uh, it's actually a rolling code I wasn't expecting this from this cheap like this really cheap system that I installed in my truck for power locks it's, that it actually has a rolling code so right now I can't just decrypt it I, at first I was trying it and it was staying the same so that's why I didn't think it was a rolling code. So what a rolling code is, is that it actually changes the information bits in the string of bits that are sent to the truck to tell it to unlock. And then, it, and then the truck sees if that's in its next list of unlocks. I think, it, I think it stores like, it looks at the next 256 
I think that's a normal thing. Looks at the next 256 numbers and then it uh, sees if that's one of them in the next 256. So if it's been a code that's already, it's, if it's already seen it, then it's not going to unlock the truck. And this is obviously for security reasons. So I can get around it. I can either figure out what it's doing or I can randomly generate a whole bunch all at once because I have that ability as well. So I think that'll be like a part two at some point. I don't know when that will be. But it was fun decoding it, and I'll obviously finish this at some point or do something with it because it's kind of cool. I don't mean to do it for a while. I was working on another project, but I realized that one wasn't possible either. Double fail. Not really. Learning a bunch of stuff and writing some code. Anyways, it's fun. It's called Software Defined Radio if you want to look up how to see the, uh, these radio waves in the air. And look up. Sammy's video because it's, well, his whole channel. Subscribe to that channel for sure because if you're interested in Arduinos or cracking codes, security, that's all the stuff that he does. But I think that's it. It was a fun little experiment that didn't work out just yet, but I think I will get it eventually. I smell like soldering fumes, all kinds. They're in my nose. Get used to it. Anyways. As always, be good and good night.